Now the rules that we've been applying to assign electrons to orbitals are not always followed in real life and two exceptions that you have to know are the elements chromium and copper. Both of those are found in the first row of the D block so they're both found in the 3D subshell. The predicted electron configuration would be the 4S subshell is full and then the 3S has four electrons in there for chromium. The actual electron configuration has only one electron in the 4S and the 3D has five electrons. So all of the electrons are spin pointing up. The reason that they don't follow the rules has to do with the energy of the 4S and the 3D. The 4S is close in energy to the 3D and so you get exceptions when you have subshells of s similar energy values. You can think of this as bumping up one electron from the 4S and putting it into the 3D. So this is the correct configuration for chromium. Copper is very similar. You predict that the 4S is full and the 3D is almost full so we can think about taking this electron and putting it into the 3D subshell so we're going to end up with an unpaired electron in the 4S and now the 3D is completely full with 10 electrons. So this is the true configuration of copper.